Alright, so this is uh this is Tanya. I I've talked to her before, but she's here at Notre Dame and what she was doing, she's rehearsing before she goes live and that's like a lot of us in this in this truth, that's what we gotta do. And uh I don't know if she's I don't know if she's she's live right now, but the thing is, uh she talked to me and she doesn't remember me but I'm about to show her the seal on my forehead. Hopefully she remembers. But um, all I remember is she she told me have a blessed day. But you know I'm about to go. I'm about to go away. So um, hang on. I'm gonna pause this video. Yeah, Tanya. Uh. Tanya Kelly, she's going live right here, and uh, I talked to her before, I'm about to show her the seal in my head again, uh, I don't know if she remembers, but number 6 and 25, Psalms 31, 16, Psalms 67 verse 1, Psalms 80 verse 3 and verse 7, Psalms 119 and 135. Um, all matching Revelations 22 and 4, you know, they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads. Um, and this truth, is, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get out because there's, <laughs> that's the thing, when your life's on the line, Corona, all this and that, you, you know, you're going to find it, you're going to find a way. So, um, let me pause this video for darn I just need to get proof of her seeing the scar, the mark. So, you know, we think not onto the, the, the Godhead um, graven image to be that like onto gold, silver, or stone. Um, and that's what you see there, up above. It's a um, golden graven image. And it's uh it's very heavy. Cause uh basically it's in the scriptures. Basically, um she's uh talking about the coronavirus on Notre Dame campus. But uh yeah, the Most High God, he's, uh, he's showing beautiful signs on this coronavirus. Um, this happens to be one of them. Second Chronicles 16 and 12. And, uh, you know, that's just what it is. But she's, uh, she's coming and she's done. So, uh, let's, uh, let's get it. Yeah. I don't, see, well... I know. Uh, well, like you gave me your card and I never called you or anything, but I did show you something like prophetic. So you know how there's like a goat image? Yeah. Well, this, uh, basically I've got like some hidden wisdom, but like, have you ever seen Harry Potter? Um, okay. So I have this mark in my forehead. Um, well, that's what somebody asked me the other day. Um, can you see it like a scar? No. It's, it's kind of... Oh, I do, I do, I do. You see it? You see it? Okay. Well, like, that's in, like, that's in scriptures, okay? And it's, like, all throughout scriptures. Uh, basically, so, like, Harry Potter has to do with kind of, like, the scriptures. Um... I remember last time speaking with you, you know, you know, you guys don't do anything with religion or anything like that. No, no. Yeah. And that's, I'm that's not very religious. Well, I, uh, I, I was, I was risen from the dead, um, so, yeah, his name's not Jesus, but, uh, that's the thing. I heard his name in my dream, and I was, yeah, I was shy. How do you, how do you even know how to spell that? Well, that's the thing, uh. With your whole heart and your whole mind, you will find him. Um, so I went like through something very dark, and uh, but after my dad passed, 
so basically it's like uh, the Bible isn't what people think so it's like the word was actually made flesh where the clay and, uh, basically Yeah, hey, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And that's why Romans 15 and 20, like, I, I strive to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named. But uh, John 17, verse 6, his name was actually manifest to us. Uh, basically, where they put Lord, that's actually... Why don't you ever go into a priesthood or whatever? Well, yeah, see, and that's the thing, like... I mean, in a way, like, your life, like, how you live your life, how you do anything, um, so basically, like, the scriptures actually, like, his son was, like, poor, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's hard for priests like that to get an understanding of affliction and yeah, tribulation. So many different types, so many different, I mean, my grandma goes to a church that's non-denominational or whatever, mm -hmm. it's called, like, the Tree of Life or something. See, and I, 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 I deal with, you know, I kind of like, I deal with, I edify all of them, like, you know what I mean? I, I just strictly, I heard these names in my dream, and that's what I, I, I just been stressing it, you know, so, because it's like, because Acts 4 and 12 tells us there's only two names given. I know, I know, but like, there's just, a, you just know that there's trillions and trillions of pe people names, right? Yeah. See, and that, me just knowing that, I'm like, holy crap. So. Yeah, I mean, you can't just make those names up. Yeah, hey, bless you. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Can't just make those names up, you know. And, uh, you know, this is the thing. Uh, I should have told her about the corona, but 16, Second Chronicles 16 and 12. Um, so basically, you know, she works for... Uh, I mean, those are the false prophets, the the newscast and all that. I mean, those are the false prophets, but, you know, that's why, you know, just like she said, you know, they're not allowed to do anything like that. So what the Most High is doing is he's raising up the 144,000, you know. So we're, there's going to be no no option but to, uh, you know, to, I mean, that's the thing. People are gonna, people are gonna start waking up, and it's, 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 it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great, y'all. And a lot of people, people aren't ready for it. But you know, when when stuff like Corona happens, then you're gonna check in the Bible. Then these news, uh, and stuff are gonna be uh, looking in the Bible, seeing what we we're saying. You know, make sure we weren't lying. That's the thing. And that's when it's almost damn near too late. Because, you know, searching the scriptures, you think you have salvation or something like that. But, uh, you know, I told her that golden image, you know, the Most High's got his own graven image. And that's the thing. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people aren't ready for it. And these women out here, uh, shameless wearing, look, a shameless woman should be counted as a dog. And, uh, before I got here, there was a woman just, I mean, these women are out of order. From the way they wear clothes to the way they hold themselves. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really against, it's, it's really against scriptures. And we try to tell people, you know, it's a high time to wake up out of sleep. But with that being said, uh, call a Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakadash, double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect and the hopeful elect. Come on.